I'm Sir Tap Tap, and a pretty common question is, okay, there's a new event in Abystrium. How do I get all of those delicious cakes? I, you know, the, there's, the costs are really freaking expensive. As you can see, I've got a decent amount here. So the best thing you can really do is first you want to store all of your fish, unfortunately. What you usually want is about four jellyfish. Fortunately, there's a jellyfish in this event, so you can use those if you want it to keep it. A little thematically appropriate. Why we use jellyfish is they stay in this predefined region. They don't move around too much. And um, that's really about it. The jellyfish have the added bonus of they'll never go behind the coral light or anything. Uh, if you don't have jellyfish, uh, for one thing, these guys work and they're part of the event. And you can also use clownfish. They work reasonably well, but sometimes they go inside the coral light is the problem. Um, note that event stuff is for a lot of people's first event. So uh, event fish cost their own currency. It's completely unrelated to your main game progress, your vitality and so on. So don't worry about any of that, except your level of Song of the Moon is very relevant, which is why Song of the Moon, both for vitality and events, is one of the best things to level up. So you're gonna wanna get that to at least level 11 pretty much immediately. I would say getting it to level 11 is probably where you should spend basically all of your gems at the very start. Um, so, to maximize your production, you know, even though I have these out, it's still just one cake per thing, right? Well, that's not too impressive. So, watch, why, why did I talk about Song of the Moon? Because it multiplies the cake, or whatever event currency. Uh, by the way, the event currency always rolls over into the next event. So, if you've bought all that you want to buy, what you can do is just save up more cake slices, and whenever the next event comes out, you can just grab whatever that is. Um, the Song of the Moon multiplier also stacks with the, um, with, what's it called? The Spirit of Life that you get for the Steady Photographer achievement. So you can get 10 free minutes of double vitality and also double cakes every day by using the Steady Photographer. Um, and the, the daily mission in general is quite lucrative because of the pearls. Uh, use those to buy crato craters to improve your vitality. But basically, you, you don't even really want to bother tapping, I would say, to get the cakes unless Song of the Moon is active. As you can see, I get 25. It's basically your level plus 5 um, is how many cakes you're going to get. Or plus 4, I think. Uh, so if you're level 1, you'll get 5 per tap, which is still significantly better than just the 1. Um, and you'll get, f you'll get a minimum of 10 if you have both Spirit of Life and Song of the Moon active. And you definitely want to make sure you have Song of the Moon. What I usually do is I activate that Spirit of Life, um, the ten, free 10 minutes, I activate Song of the Moon, I run it out completely tapping on all of the cakes. Then, right as that runs out, I use my recharge skill, and then I'll have another 5 minutes of the refill of the, of the Song of the Moon. And so you can get almost the full 10 minutes. You can almost get full 10 minutes. You still have to watch the ads, so you lose about 30 seconds. But uh, you can get quite a lot of cake in that amount of time. I'm not... I haven't really been counting. I, it's been a long since I've run the numbers, but you can get like a, a couple thousand uh, per run very easily. It's more than a couple thousand these days because of the if you have a very high Song of the Moon level anyway. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can also multiply if you buy. So every event there's a new. It's usually ten dollars. There's a new event package, and you get in this example you get the corgi. And um, you get buy you buy the corgi with vitality. None of the vit the event fish go away ever if you buy them. It j you just lose the ability to buy more of them. But if any fish that you pay money for, you can go and you can always go in. It ends up in the fish menu, so you can always buy more of it. They're not that cruel. Um, I would say the, the cake doubling is a nice side effect. I would say for any fish that you want to buy in the game. Do you want that fish enough to spend X dollars? I wouldn't worry too much about the side effects. The side effects are nice. Definitely take advantage of them if you do buy a fish. But generally, that's how I would say. Is it worth that? Um, is the fish worth it? And by fish, I mean dog in this case. But, you know, whatever. Um, because that, that, that it does double the cake, but it, it's only for this one event. So there'll be another thing that you have to buy next event and so on and so forth. Also, I honestly do kind of recommend a little bit of an auto clicker for this. I have one. I use Nox App Player, which has this little thing. And so basically, you just do this. That saves your hands a little bit. And, uh, pretty handy. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do. If you don't, if you don't know what I'm using, this is I'm on my PC. This is Nox App Player. Just search Sir Tap Tap Nox App Player, and you'll find my tutorial on using that for Abyssrium. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know to farm uh, cake to your heart's content, and that'll apply to any future events too. I just figured I would update this video. It's only a little bit different from the last time I updated you on how to get cakes and or uh, what was it last time? Leaves, I think, last time or something. Or flower petals. I don't even remember. Butterflies. That's what it was. Butterflies. Yeah, the, the currency changes all the time, but it's still the same number. So collect to your heart's content. And happy tapping, everybody.